Hi, my name is Oliver King. I'm a lawyer at Trudy Bookman Attorneys, and I'm going to be speaking today about the cooling off right available to consumers in terms of Section 16 of the Consumer Protection Act. So Section 16 allows a consumer to return a product without giving a reason within the first five business days from when they received the goods or when the transaction was completed. Now this cooling off right, however, is only available in situations of direct marketing. Now direct marketing is when the seller directly contacts the consumer through telephone, such as a telemarketer, through email or WhatsApp, or even in circumstances where a seller or his agents has handed a pamphlet to the consumer and have acted on this pamphlet and bought a certain product as advertised. Where direct marketing is not applicable, the consumer's right to return the product will be dependent on whether the goods are defective, whether they had a chance to examine the goods before the purchase, as well as the seller's return policy. Now back to section 16 and the cooling off right. So the first step is to notify the supplier in writing that you are cancelling the agreement and you hereby render the return of the goods. You will however be liable for any cost to return the goods back to the supplier. Once you have returned the goods, or if no goods have been delivered, once you have cancelled the agreement, the supplier then has 15 business days to refund your money. If the supplier after these 15 business days has still not refunded your money, you can then approach an attorney to take legal steps to obtain payment and you can also report the supplier or seller to the National Consumer Commission, in which case they will be liable for a hefty fine. Bear in mind that this remedy is only available for the first five business days, so notify the supplier as soon as possible as soon as you realize that you do not want the product. You do not have to give a reason and the supplier cannot refuse the return of the goods as this is a statutory right available to consumers and overrides any of their return policies. There are, however, certain goods and services purchased online which the CPA cooling off right would not be applicable to, in which case you would have to use a substantially similar cooling off right available in the Electronic Communications and Transactions Act, commonly known as ECTA, and you would have to use these provisions in order to affect a, a cooling off right. Finally, just remember that this remedy is available to consumers who have been pressurized to buy certain products and have therefore made impulsive decisions based upon clever and persuasive marketing. So always remember, whenever you have bought stuff off direct marketing, that it's actually something that you want to buy and not something you're just being convinced to buy. Thank you and stay safe.